got Kellum. Tell Bailey what... He'll expect me to Not get it. today, I think. Has his we should question him together. Keep the pressure you on. You talk to him. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his. But if we waste too much time negotiating... Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Maybe I did do the right option. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Ah, here we go. Bailey doesn't know you're here, but he will, after we're done. This is off the record. No criminal charges will be brought against you. What are you, fraud boy? A little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. Maybe I am supposed to play a bad no, kid. Uh, I don't know. Didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your <laughs> neck it? out for him? <laughs> With the rope you at the living room. Confess to putting a contract on someone. You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. We're running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I can't punch him. I can't do it. Damn waste of my time. How about this? You tell us the time. I said get out of my way, Bailey. You have no right to What the hell is going on in here? Step away from my client. Is that do you have him tied to the chair? Glad you can make it, Freddy. Traffic was bad. You'll need a shovel the size of the Citadel to dig yourself out of this. Well, it's time to make this easy. This is all above board. I'm a Council Spectre. Shit. What? What's that mean, Freddy? Spectres can do whatever they want, Elias. I can't help you. Shit. If it was you I wanted, I could kill you and go. I want the assassin. Tell me who the target is and I'll leave. Damn it. Joram Talid. He's a Turian, running for intended of Zakiro Ward. Where can we find him? His apartment's in the 800 blocks. Let's go. See, it was a good thing to get reinstated as a specter. <laughs> Shrug shoulders. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing Pretty is, much. His message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man, it's time for my favorite thing quote ever. And yes, I threatened him as a specter. Technically, if you have a high enough renegade, you can open with that and end it quickly, but I didn't. And I actually fucked up again. Because I got very confused on what it wanted me to do. Because I was right the first time. I told Thane he should have played bad cop. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead on the maintenance cat box. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. 
Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Oh, here it comes. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. He's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. This is literally just like the majority of this mission, following this guy. Oh, shit, I have to actually be over there. Stay close, Shepard. No problem so far. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Stay with him. meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. <laughs> How many of them are in giant body armor and standing above me, though? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, here's this point. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. And there he is. I have never fought a Krogan that went down that quickly. I saw. 
He's heading to Talid's apartment. you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your... <laughs> what the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Koliat. <laughs> He's trying to make. Well, I wasn't trying to take him out. I was trying to disarm him. You came to get my forgiveness, so you could die in peace or something. I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. All right, Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distraction from the mission. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with Citadel politics. May have to uh, support Ellis, uh, Elis Kellum and similar criminals to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSEC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Oh, that's a comforting phrase. He now gets shredder, at, shredder ammo, increases damage to health, or increased damage to health of organic targets. And unlocked a new outfit, which I believe is just kind of an... I think, is his red? No, that's his DLC costume. What color is his fucking other costume then? Kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't... Is it one of those games where they released it in, like, beta or whatever, but it was never, like... But it was basically almost as good as it was gonna get, but they never just released it fully or something? Oh, uh, okay. Our problems are... They are something I can Oh, it's an indie game. Okay. Words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary, strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. All right.
With that software. I'm sorry, but I can't. Back to the Normandy, chat up Thane, and see where it goes from there. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, I've logged in. When Matter Krim has my account, remember? I did the login for his account. Where is Thane again? There he is. you a few questions not at all uh cool there's something else Ask. I'd like to have a few minutes to talk if you wish the last time we talked you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it Drell have perfect memories we can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity it's difficult to control at times some of us disappear into you know let's call it solipsism what do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? I immediately just got really depressed thinking about that. Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Oh god, you guys ready for more moral conjuries brought to you by Mass Effect 2? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles in the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid drill memory? 
not no she was a vivid person did you take the shot not that day i should get back to my duties shepherd i appreciate these chats we have you've spent a lot of your life alone thane <laughs> work fulfilled me reading i barely spoke to anyone outside my family it seems there will be no one to mourn me when i die you're the only friend I've made in It's time. Friend, huh? It's a start. A start? That's... Intriguing. I will always be here to talk. And so it has begun. All right, let's go see what Angry Boy's up to before I move up. Before I move on. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. All right, well, before we go help him with this problem, we're going to go bolster our ranks. We're going to go recruit another old... F oh, no, wait. Right. Now I need to save. Now I'm going to see if I can break the line. We'll upgrade the ship eventually. I don't need it right now. I don't really need to upgrade the ship until later. And even then, trust me, you don't want to be around when I have to go get the materials necessary for upgrading the ship. It's boring, and it's tedious. Jack would like to talk with you. Oh, no, wait. I'm stupid. I have to hit the mass relay. There we go. On the stop time. Yeah. I'm just gonna zaward a z <laughs> zaw world the uh, entire fucking thing. All right, derelict reaper. Let's do this. Who's ready to go on a? Sh <laughs> Who wants to go inside of a giant machine? <laughs> Creating a ship is bad content. <laughs> You're not wrong. It is pretty boring watching all of it. Neat. Stick with Maddox. Rifle line, sure, for collector particle beam. All right. What's 
with all the chop, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as gap. I guess we know where the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? <laughs> I just choose not to look at it because so I don't care as much. Passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Uh, God, please, no more channels. I'm just gonna start super combining them. There we go. Ugh. Well, that's not creepy. Normandy to shore party. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. Trapped in a Reaper. Not the way I thought I'd go. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core. Sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. All right. the fact that both of you are staring at me with sniper rifles pointed at me. <laughs> this has just become a Mexican standoff.